How did you get into science? Science, I mean, throughout my whole life, but is kind of all around you. So when I was little, playing with animals, you know, trying to set up a habitat for toads you catch in the woods, things like that. Um, I think it just, just helped me curious. It's not necessarily, I didn't get into chemistry till later, but science is kind of fun no matter what age you are. So I think I was always involved just in daily activities. So why did you become a scientist? Why did I become a scientist? This was a little bit harder. Um, once I took a food science class, I always liked science. Once I took food science, that's when I really found a home. So really the applied science, um, looking at enzymes, talking about why ice cream freezes, those were things that would get me excited. And so that's eventually how I found the field. What are you most proud of achieving as a scientist? I think every scientist would say adding to knowledge. So one of my biggest accomplishments is writing papers and getting those submitted to literature. Um, on the other side from, from my work at Tate and Lyle would be adding to a customer's knowledge. So when they come in and we find a solution that enables them to actually make a better cookie, filling, yogurt, whatever it is, that's what I find the most pride in. What do you like best about your work? that you get to ask questions and you get to be wrong. So I think scientists are one of the only areas of work where you are constantly disproving a hypothesis and you get to make those hypotheses. Um, and it's not about outcome, it's always about the, the process of finding the answer. Um, and every answer is gonna be different when you change parameters. So you never are repeating anything. You're always innovating, you're always solving a problem in a new way. Any words of wisdom for women and girls who want to become a scientist? I think the biggest advice would just be get involved. You know, there's no reason not to be in science. If you have a natural curiosity, go for it. I think you should always be part of the process. So the things you use, women can be part of either programming or making those. There's no reason that you shouldn't be part of the process from a science, engineering, or math perspective. Great. So on a less formal one, <laughs> yes. what do you like to do when you can't sleep? This is a tough one. If I can't sleep, I'm usually stressed about something. So I either have to then start working on the problem or I might go work out and relieve some stress and then I can usually sleep. Okay. TV or a book for a pastime? Um, I do both. I think TV right now because there's a lot new documentaries and some really interesting things that are happening in TV that hasn't been there in years before. So probably on that side, but it's, it's always good to have a book on hand. 